Hey guys, Shushant Midget here, doing a video on my art desk, you like that? Yeah, I got a light up there, bunch of lights now, um, because it's really dark, so now it should be good, hopefully you can see me. Alright, so literally, uh, we talked outside with the guy, but me and my brother did, because my brother apparently knew him, um, because of airsoft forms, but, um, I picked up a KWA MP7. Now, I got this thing for dirt cheap. Um, he was just trying to get off his hands because someone else owned it before him and literally did not like it because he was getting out of Airsoft and someone gave it to him for free. So he sold it to this guy and this guy uh, had it, he said, about, about nine months, so close to a year. Um, and then he sells it to me for... Um, about half pr uh, half price, pretty much, yeah. Yes, exactly half price. So I get it for 120 Um, uh, don't have to pay for shipping or anything. I already have a propane adapter, it's my brother's, but I paid him $10 a long time ago and we split it, so it's property of both of us, because he makes me pay for everything half. And then a half full propane tank, I'm going to go pick some up, uh, to a pack of two eventually. And see, I only have $36 left, so I'm kind of broke. Um, I mean, I'm going to a fireworks place um, on Saturday on our way somewhere, and I'm going to spend probably the 6 bucks there on top of the 5 for the two tanks, so 25 bucks. Need to find some way to, although my dad said if I mow tomorrow, he'll give me 10 so I make ways. To my, make my money. And the thing is, I traded my JGM4S system. I've been in the trading game for a while. I traded my JGM4S system for a TSD R700 sniper. Um, worth about 100, 130 with everything because it's a spring upgrade kit. So then, five days after I have that, some kid wants to buy it. And I make him a deal, 120, well, $110, and then they gave me $10 worth of fireworks. Because I'm into fireworks. I'm not pyro. I don't light things on fire, I just like explosions and stuff. Now, I don't put myself in harm's way, so let's just put it that way. Um, but I sold it to him, he gave me $110, and then the fireworks, and then I got $60 along with the sniper for the JGM4S system. The JGM4S system had a problem with it, on some out of the trigger would stay back, on full auto it would, you know, shoot, but I gave him a, I gave him a high cap and five mid caps. Um, and then I sold a crap, uh, gun for 15 bucks on top of that 60, so I had 75, um, and then, and then I sold the sniper and I have like 180, but, you know, uh, prices are needed for things. I also bought, uh, five AK mags, AK mid caps. I bought three AK mid caps and two low caps. I thought they were all the same. But apparently two of them are low caps and they don't feed in my AK, so I'm trying to get them off my hands and sell both for five bucks to my friend. If my friend won't buy it, I'm going to talk to that guy and be like, hey, can you give me my ten, ten bucks back? Because I do not want these low caps, but it's going to take a while for us to meet up and give me the ten bucks. Unless, unless I would ship them to him and he would PayPal me, but, you know, ship them is like five bucks, so I'd just be making five bucks, that's it. I wouldn't be making anything, I'd be losing but, and I hate the low caps, but they feed and hit my friend's AK, so I'm trying to sell them to him for five bucks. It's a really good deal. Two low caps, they hold, I think, 40, 30 or 40, but they don't feed mine, but he left his AK here, and I tried them in his, and they feed great. Sorry for that rant. Here's a KWA MP7. It's complete stock. Um, everything is stock. Now, you might be like, you know, nine months, is, is it really worn? I don't think it is. He used it in one game... He took it to two, but the first game they would not let them. And as you can see, or as you, I don't know if you can hear, the air nozzle is still sticking sticking to the barrel. And it springs back. So this thing has obviously not been shot a whole lot. And the bolt is not scratched up, as you can see. Um, now I have it cocked, so I'm not the kid to like randomly shoot it. So and I'm this thing is gonna, I'm going to take care of this thing. Um, I'm probably going to get two more mags for Christmas um, from my grandparents. They give me a hundred bucks for two mags. It's probably ninety bucks, I think, shipped. Um, I don't know if I can buy some used. If I buy them used, they'll probably be sixty for two shipped. 
Um, so, I used 25 grand BBs. I have not shot this yet. Um, I'm going to lube the mag. If you get this gun, do not use spray lube on the gun. Use it for the mag. So right there I spray it. I wipe it. And I wipe it again. And I'm going to spray inside of this too. Alright, so, there's that, um, you're not supposed to do the spray lube on the KWAs because they're hop-up. Um, it is moderately lubed. I'm going to just spray some in here a little bit. I'm not going to shoot it till tomorrow, so all that will probably just, you know, dry up, just lube the seals and that's it. That's all I want it to do is just seal the lubes and, or lube the seals in the mag. Just lube in the valves. Um, he said lube the valves with the, the liquid stuff and then don't lube the gun <laughs> at least for about uh, three months or like three propane tanks. So I'm going to go ahead and pop one round out of this just to make sure it works just to show you guys that I didn't get janked and that it works one BB I don't hear any uh, that propane smells bad I haven't used that propane for a while so all that smell has been bottled up inside. He said with the, with the propane it shoots about 400 FPS. So I don't know if I believe that, but he said he chrono it at that. Semi-auto. Put the mag in. Rack it. Um, I'm just going to shoot that. Alright, one shot. Hopefully you can see it. That was loud. Okay, so it locked back. As you can see, it worked. Um, now, his foregrip broke off, but I actually like that because I can wrap my whole hand around the gun. So now it's all lubed. Um, I'm going to leave... Yeah, I can't hear anything. I'm going to leave the uh, propane in there. In fact, it's, all, it's good to have gas in your mag to keep the uh, seals lubed as long as you lube, like if I didn't lube this it would be bad, but if I lube it, put some in there, you know, lube it again, put some more in there, that's when it's good. Why do I wipe it away? Because I don't want externals. There you go. Lubed up. So, this thing shoots about uh, 1,000 rounds a minute, 950, something around there, which my, I have a Tactic Force Mac 11 CO2 that shoots about 1,100, and then my, uh, my uh, Classic Army M4 shoots about 1,200. It's insane. My NK ACR shoots about, has GMP motor, shoots about 950. My uh, Well MP7 shoots about 950. My AK shoots about 950, about 950. Um, and then I have two semi-auto pistols. Well, my tech, my, uh, uh, PT-99 is full auto, I forgot. Um, that thing, uh, shoots about 950. Um, uh, all my guns shoot pretty fast. I'm gonna hit the bolt release. Now, I don't, well, I'm not the kind of person to just randomly cock it and shoot it. No, I'm gonna keep it cocked because I'm, uh, until the end of the video, because I'm gonna probably cock it again. So, um... I'm just going to give you an overview and just talk about some of the pieces. Alright, so, you know, orange tip is metal. The mag is completely metal. I love KWA's mags. I don't like the brand of KWA because of their hop-up, but this hop-up system is in here. It's completely different from the other hop-up in the barrel. I hate that other hop-up in the barrel. Um, here, I'm going to put the mag in and uh, lock the bolt back for you. Now, for Christmas, I think I already said I'm going to buy two mags for it, because I love running gas guns by themselves. Um, 
I'm trying to see if you can adjust the hop up through the barrel or not. You can't. Good. I hate that hop up in the barrel. Um, and this is where the hop up's at in here. And that's why I don't like KWA stuff. Oh, you probably, you know, KWA is so good. You're probably just stupid. Um, well, I've had the KWA PT99 M9. Uh, M9 PTP, sorry. The KWA uh, USP Compact. The KWA non-NS2 M9, M93R, and it was good. That was the best KWA I've ever had, and then I get this. My brother has had the KWA TMP, or MP9, either one you want to call it. TMP stands for Tactical Machine Pistol, or the MP9. Um, so, his, what's wrong with his is not the hop-up. The hop-up's good, but what's wrong with his is his thing was nothing. His bolt does not want to return all the way and start firing because of... I, I, who knows what um and that's why i don't really like kwa because they have problems but if something happens i will fix it because i got it for so cheap and you know i haven't had a kwa for about a year and a half so now i'm you know how to fix guns or order parts by my local thing my local local airsoft shop i can just call them up and say order this piece for me i'll pick it up when i get in because they order a lot of kwa pieces so as you can see, it's got trades. I don't really mind the trades, but, you know, that's warnings. It kind of sucks, but whatever. I'd rather it just be completely plain. I don't, I don't even know what the A1 stands for on the MP7, truly. I know a lot about guns. I think the A1 is the first version. Uh, I don't know if they have an A2 or not. Um, I, I would guess the A2 is maybe a longer barreled version or something. A different caliber. Not exactly sure. Can't be sure. Uh, top or uh, two side rails. I have a flashlight on my classic Army M4. I don't know if I should put it on here or not. Probably won't. Or whatever gun I use in the night game, I'll put it on. So if I do use this in the night game, I will put it on it. Bolt release, trigger, selector switch, all metal. Um, I'm not going to say the thing is full metal because it's obviously not full metal because the whole body is plastic. Um, so don't even say it's full metal. I saw a kid say that the uh, uh, MP9 was full metal. The whole body is plastic. It's not full metal, okay? Um, I don't understand why people use the term full metal. I just don't understand. Like, is this full metal? There's, you know, there's a, there's a ru rubber or plastic plate and a tag on it definitely not metal when i can picture full metal as like a block of metal i'm sorry i'm so weird but that's what i that's what i picture um got some trades there the stock is all the way in and all the way out i like it how it doesn't you know press that button doesn't slide in all the way like my well it is so loose and sometimes when i shooting it the recoil like knocks it out of position it's all the way in this this stock's more realistic this is more like the TM stock because my brother has a TM AEP. I don't think TM has a gas MP7. I don't think they have a gas MP9 either. KSC does. KSC is basically KWA except Chinese. I want to get the lightweight or the uh, the uh, uh, low power bolt for this so I can use it because the low power bolt shoots about 300 with 25 gram BBs. This thing shoots about 360 uh, with the 25s maybe 350 so thanks for watching guys rate comment subscribe um this is so far it's a good gun my brother the one that he got was a year and a half old and it worked good no problems with it and the mags were worn like crazy so you know i do recommend this gun uh, if you have the money um i i just kind of got lucky and got a good condition used one but I would not recommend getting it used because you can chance parts getting broken. But I was just kind of in a hurry to get another gun because I just sold my sniper. And I'm like, I really want another gun. So I put a, a thing up on a forum saying I want a gun for $140 under. And this is what I got. So thanks for watching, guys.